harissa. Do you know what, are you familiar with harissa? Yeah, it's like a North African chili paste. You've done this before? Yeah, awesome. it's delicious. So we, you know, it's becoming really popular now. Mm -hmm. So we like to kind of make our own spin on, on things and uh, we're gonna do a green harissa today. Rather than use red chilies, we're gonna use cilantro and jalapeno to nice. do this. Now, one of the, um, the defining characteristics of harissa for me is um, cumin and coriander and garlic. Yeah. Uh, lots of cumin, coriander, and garlic. That's what gives it all its flavor. That's what uh, differentiates it from most hot sauces because now you have all this flavor rather totally. than just vinegar and heat. Mm -hmm. Kind of so, smoky tasting. Smoky, absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's so many different ways to do this. Um, we've been to uh, Morocco before and it comes nice. out like as a paste, yeah. a really thick paste. And yet I've seen it before as like a liquid sauce huh. too. So there's, there's many lots different ways variations. to do it. Absolutely. So, uh, this is Tunisian um, okay. originally, uh, so you know, of course, it spreads all over through Africa and the mm -hmm. Middle East. You see it a lot of like, um, you know, falafel places now. Yep. Everyone's like, you know, kind of incorporating this. Super trendy. Absolutely. Um, lots of garlic. Okay, obviously, a lot of garlic there. I'm gonna walk around you, get our blender. You can make this in a food processor just as easily. Now, the blender is a very important tool in the vegan kitchen, is it not? Absolutely. You need, uh, you know, you. You need, you need pretty much everything you need in a traditional kitchen, but sure. we rely on it a lot more because that's yeah. how we get all of our sauces so beautiful and exactly. rich. Exactly. You know, when you're not using butter, you've got to really whip these sauces up. creative, You've got yeah. to get really a, a lot of cream in there mm -hmm. um, by using just a little bit of oil and the vegetables themselves. Right. Because people, you know, they don't want to eat something that's full of just one note and vinegary sauces. Of they course. want to eat body. You know, you've got to have yeah. a lot of, you know, creamy body in there. Not animal bodies. Not right. animal bodies, right. <laughs> right, just the... <laughs> Textural body. All right, so we have our jalapenos here. Awesome. Okay, um, you can use poblanos for this. No, you the can spicier use... the better. Oh, you like spicy? Oh, Good. Yeah, okay. I love it. Well, I usually cut them down like this. You okay. can leave a few seeds in. A little. Oh, you're Some daring. Okay. Yeah, you know. Little seeds, and it's of course it's in the membrane too, right here. Of course. That's yep. where a lot of the heat is. Well, jalapenos can really vary in their heat level too. Sometimes they're super mild, and other times they're like knock your socks off. I know. There, there's spicy. sometimes you can actually. Um, Eat these almost like an apple. Yeah, it's like a bell pepper. <laughs> yeah, like a bell pepper. It's really disappointing when I and get And there's that. <laughs> other ones that they will, you'll feel them on your fingertips yeah. all oh, day yeah. long. Yeah, be careful. All day long, yeah, very careful. Wash your hands. <laughs> all right, so let's get those in there. So since you like heat, we have a few more over here. Let's, let's Just really, go for it. Yeah. Go it's, crazy. It's nice and spicy. Yeah. It's five o'clock somewhere. Exactly. All right, so here's our cumin and coriander. Now, if you really want to get into this, you can take whole cumin seeds, toast them in toast the pan. Them. There's nothing wrong with using the ground cumin though. It's mm -hmm. the flavor we're looking for, okay? Sure. Whole cumin and coriander. Of course, coriander is the seed mm -hmm. of the cilantro plant. I love so ground coriander. I kind of like using that as like, uh, you know, you get the seed and you get the leaf right mm -hmm. here, which is a really cool way to do it. So these are our cilantro leaves, okay? Now, I basically, cilantro is one of those herbs that a little bit of stem is okay. Mm -hmm. They're right? pretty tender. Yeah, you know, you can eat them. I, I didn't, I, I always only use the leaves, like parsley, right. for years. And then, you know, when you get down to Latin America, I think it was in Costa Rica, you know, you realize you see these little bits of stem in there. They use it and all. They use it all. Yeah. It's a completely different flavor, right. too. It's a little sharper, and it's got a little kick to it. And, you know, you can tell it's cilantro, but in a different way. Yeah, it's really for sure. cool. So I would take off anything huge, stalky. Because they can get a little fibrous when you go to blend it up. Absolutely. Make that a little tough. Yeah, so like anything... You know, anything down down the stem a bit. You know, anything that thick, I would definitely leave out. Okay. You're absolutely right. It can get a little stalky. There's a culprit right there. You don't want anything in there like that. Mm -hmm. It's not going to puree for you. It's not going to give you the effect you want. Okay. So now, would you use... substitute anything if you hated cilantro? Because there's a lot of those people out well, there. Well, you can do parsley. You know, there's yeah. a lot of parsley in Middle Eastern cooking, but <laughs> That's you know. True. It's not gonna be not the, same, the same, you know that. Yeah. Maybe a little basil, but then basil you have pesto. Basil would be nice, yeah, right, for sure. <laughs> right, Spicy so, pesto. Um, but you know, you can also just do the classic red harissa and just there add red chilies, leave the herbs out. Perfect. And you'll be more authentic that way. You won't be fancy, but you'll be authentic. <laughs> All well, right. it sounds like a good solution. <laughs> there we go. All right, so lots of cilantro in there. Lots nice. and lots of cilantro. We'll I happen to love really this stuff. Green. Oh, wonderful. That's good. It goes in everything, too. Yeah, it does. Asian cooking, yeah. um, it's everywhere, you know? Now, for acidity, I have a little white vinegar here. Just okay? plain white distilled vinegar? I almost never use white vinegar except for making pickles. Yeah. It's essential for harissa because that's what makes it the hot sauce that right. it is. You know, I'm a huge fan of like sherry vinegar. I even mm -hmm. like red wine vinegar. Yep. Uh, all my fancy stuff, but white vinegar is the best in here. It's just neutral. Exactly. 
very neutral, and it's got the acidity that you kind of most associate mm -hmm. uh, with hot sauce. Of you course, know, yeah. It's kind of a little um, stronger. A little stronger. I'm gonna put a little lemon in here too. Okay. Okay. Just a little lemon. This is an easy trick you can use. Just stick a strainer over like whatever that. you're doing. I hate when people say to use your fingers. I always get the pits in that way. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> it never works for it me. It never works. I don't know why people would even try <laughs> right. that. It never works. And then you have a handful of lemon juice. Right, and then you're sorting through, <laughs> sorting through a... to find the seed that got through. <laughs> right, Doesn't no, work. this is a really good tip. Doesn't work, you heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get our harissa going here. Cool. We have our acidity, we have our onions, we have our garlic, we have our cilantro. Now we're gonna do a little bit of oil, mm -hmm. okay? And this is what's gonna make it nice and creamy and rich. And we're gonna add just a little bit of water because we have a lot of ingredients in there. Just to kind of help it along. Exactly, gotta make it blend. Okay, and oil and water, people say they don't mix. Oil and water are <laughs> crucial to making a good emulsified sauce. Awesome. Okay, so that's what you want in there. All right, I'm gonna step around you here. Okie doke. And we'll give this a quick zip. A little bit a little of chunk, bit. you know, a uh, little bit of texture, and mm -hmm. I think we got that. Look at that, isn't nice. that beautiful? Oh, the smell is nice? incredible. Now, as that sits, and I like to make this a few minutes ahead of time, mm -hmm. as that sits, the vinegar and salt are gonna go to work on those onions and garlic. Yeah. This tastes good now, it's gonna taste great in about 15, 20 minutes. May I okay? taste it now? Absolutely. It's gonna taste a little raw right now, Okay. but once those onions kind of pickle themselves they kind of and that break vinegar, down a little. they break down, it's gonna get better. Mm. But you see where it's going though, mm -hmm. okay? You see where it's going. Mm -hmm. um, Yum. That probably needs salt. I forgot to add the a salt. A little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think there's some in there, but uh, the jalapenos aren't crazy hot. Oh, they're not? Yeah, yeah it's, it's relatively kind of, mild, because I, I went in tentatively. Oh, you did? Spoon, okay. Well, let's get, I was um, able to lick the whole thing. Where'd that salt? It's a nice know. heat, it's pleasant. Good, okay, yeah, I totally forgot to add the salt. So we're just gonna add a little extra salt here. Okay, and that's gonna help them break down a little bit more. We will, oh, sorry, stir that in just manually because once you get to the texture you want, you don't wanna re-blend it. Remember, you know, greens okay. are all chlorophyll. The longer you blend them, the more gray and bitter it's gonna get. Good, good tip there. Okay, once it's done, stop. Anything else you got goes in manually. Because you really like wanna retain that nice green color. Absolutely, absolutely. So the salt goes in there. And again, we're just gonna let that sit. Now, ideally, Make this in the morning when you want to have it okay. at night, okay? Let it sit, let it pickle itself, let it really mingle. How long would could you let that sit for? A couple days? A couple or, days, yeah? usually, yeah. Now again, it's, it's, uh, it's chlorophyll. It's going to get gray on you eventually. Okay. And you'll know it, you're going to taste it, and you're like, yeah, that's done. <laughs> yeah. That's done, okay. So go with your instinct. So let's start plating here. Okay. And what we're going to do, let's start with our lentils. Now these are ready. And you can tell that Gorgeous. little bit of oil and just that last little bit of cooking really took them over the top. Now, as you can see, this is going to be a lot of color going yeah, on here. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Okay, nice scoop of lentils right in the middle of the plate. Wow. Okay. Gorgeous. It's really substantial too. I don't think you'd be left hungry with this. No, and that's the thing, you know, nobody wants to leave hungry. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and that's a common misconception about vegan food. It's like they think it's a bunch of sprouts and nuts yeah. and all that. <laughs> right. No, no, none of that, not anymore. Now listen, when you're cooking lentils, see that tiny, tiny little bit of run there? Yes. That's it. If, you're, if your um, wood or your stock or whatever goes and hits the edge of the plate, too it's much. just too much, yeah. You want them to have a lot of body to them. Great. Okay, so let's get our best carrots over here. This one, That's I a good think, one. is beautiful. Mm -hmm. That little bit of top is left on there. Nice. Okay, and then we got another one. A oh, little gorgeous beauty right here. Look wow. at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like and a carrot steak. Yeah, a carrot steak, absolutely. Okay, let's just do that. And then let's finish with our green harissa here. Now this has had a few minutes to sit, obviously, wow. so the salt and vinegar went to work on it. And look at those colors. Oh, the I'm smelling those carrots, they smell so good. And yeah, you're right about those colors. Really, really makes the plate pop. Absolutely. Okay, a little bit around the outside of the plate here. Mm. Kind of flavor those lentils a little bit. Mm -hmm. There you have roasted carrots. This is amazing. Yes. Bring it over to the table. I'm so excited to try this.